Welcome to FlipClockFans.com. This is our instructional video on uh, disassembly of the Panasonic RC6015. This is also known as the Back to the Future clock. It is uh, the RC6015. This clock happens to be in, in pretty good shape overall. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do a disassembly. You might want to do that for cleaning purposes or for uh, something like that. So, uh, first place to start is to remove all the knobs. Uh, these should f fairly easily come off. Uh, at times, though, you'll need to take um, I'll take a piece of paper towel and a butter knife and gently pry these up. And I'm trying not to mar the surface there. And I'll put my buttons off to the side. These are in a there's a it's kind of a deep well though, so it really is. There, that one popped right off. Okay. This is fairly easy. Grab with your fingers and pull, pry and pull. You can use that butter knife and paper towel if this is stiff. All knobs should be moved straight off. There's you can uh, break things if you don't. This knob is, is uh, unique. It has a band around it, or I wouldn't call it a spring. It is a wire band that helps adhere it. So you want to keep. Th I go ahead and take it off because it's gonna. It might. I might lose it. And if I know to put it up, then it, I'll know it'll be safe. So I'll go ahead and take that off. Say if I was going to do some cleaning to those knobs, these are hard to get off. This is the knob that spins the time. This is the knob that spins the alarm and they're independent of each other. Sometimes I can get in here and grab this and pry it right off. This comes out easy. I would refrain from using a pair of pliers. You're going to rip things up here. If it's real stiff, you can start by pulling this off a little bit, pushing it back, then getting a hold of this. Pull straight out. This is a place where these knobs will often get broken with people getting a little bit aggressive. Okay, again, we'll pull off here. And we're going to go ahead and flip over. The next step is to take out all the screws. Now this video I'm not going to pause because I want people to see the exact amount of time they can expect to take uh, one of these apart. The cabinet screws, there are six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then there are four clock mechanism screws. I'm going to go ahead and take all of them out. It is going to be a little boring, but we're just going to go ahead and take them all out at once. I guess that's coming. Well, I think I got it. We'll know if we got that one screw here in a minute. When you go to lift the cabinet off, if it doesn't come off, you can bet you've not, not gotten rid of one of the screws. Okay. Try to keep your screws and parts all in one spot. They will try to run off from you. Now we're going to see if we got one screw. I don't think I'm catching that. It's going to be a problem, child. I guess it's cleared. We'll find out. Like I said, when you turn this over, the screws are going to start dropping out. Best way to let these cabinets off. Uh, you see the cabinet edges right here. You don't have to really stick your fingers in there. Just get your pads your fingers there. I'm going to place your thumbs here and start to push. Okay, so obviously I did get that screw. This will lift right off. You can go ahead and set your the cabinet top aside. The screws should have fallen out. There's six cabinet screws. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, what we got here is our 
speaker, which happens to be in excellent shape. This, the, all the internals of this clock, uh, they look brand new. And I don't know if this was used um, at all. It seems to have been put up. I didn't do any cleaning to this. I was amazed when I opened this up. And it works fine too. Okay, so this speaker base, if you've seen the video on the um, 6015, the speaker base here is wider. And they've used a cup to catch the speaker and hold it. And there's a little bit of rubber thing here for a little bit of cushioning, a shock absorption. That'll, that'll tend to want to come off. I'll go ahead and take it off anyway. Anything's going to separate, I'll take it off. By this time, I would put this in a baggie or something like that to keep it square, keep it safe. One of the things that wants to get lost is this. It's a felt like washer. To, this has dust cover and also for looks of, of the uh, AMFN knob. And you want to go ahead and take that off and set it aside now because most likely you're going to lose that if you're not careful. The circuit board is held on by only one screw right in the middle. This unit should be off when you're doing this. And place that over here. Okay, so our circuit board should be loose. Uh, if it's an old clock, you may have to wiggle it slightly to come off. And there it is. Circuit board and speaker. The clock mechanism is loose, as you can see, because we previously loosened those screws. We're going to go ahead and take out the screws for the transformer. Again, I was... Uh, I didn't do any cleaning... Normally you'll have to clean the circuit board of these old clocks, uh, get some dust out. It didn't do a bit of cleaning to this. It's amazing. All right. Now the uh, cord is held in place with a, uh, a plastic piece. Okay. We'll set that aside. And there's the cord. Now the the connectors that connect the cord to the transformer are often glued in there with a the black glue. The best way I've found to get them out is to grab hold of all the wires. You can get some pressure off of here and push there. And you can see there was you well, can't see it on there. It was stout in there. So yeah, you can see some of that black glue in there. I don't. I wish they had done that. Okay, so now we're going to set this off to the side. If you tilt this slightly, you can get that out. It's a little bit harder to get in. Set that off to the side. I'm just kind of watching that I'm not puncturing my cone of my speaker. Uh, everything else is going to be fine. You don't have to worry about it unless you've got it plugged in, which would be crazy if you did. Okay, so now we're down to this situation. Uh, unlike other clocks, this is secured in place with screws. So you're going to have to get to this. There's three screws to take out here. Two on the dial mechanism and one on the, on the face plate. It uh, doesn't matter which one you go at first. I'll go ahead and go at the face plate first. Probably a good reason to do that is once you start taking this dial apart, it's going to want to get squirrely in there, and you might end up bending your... Uh, dial your the little indicator. This one actually looks like it's a little bit bent as it is. I can show you how to fix that if you're careful. Okay, you can see the two screws and what's going to happen when I go at this one you might see the, the little thing pop out. I'll go ahead and do it for you. That'll pop out like that. I just, if that's not hurting anything, that'll pop right back in. It gives me a little extra room to work. Well, if I can get a hold of the screw. Okay, I said I want to be careful because I don't want to bend that dial unnecessarily. I'll set this down. The bottom is clear. And we're going to look at the dial here. Okay, what you want to do is you want to take and turn that carefully and it will come out. So it's going to go back in there as well. Now again, if I was doing a repair on this clock, which I'm probably going to do, you can see it turns slightly. 
Uh, you're not going to have many corrections in this. If you start messing with this too much, you're going to cause problems. But it doesn't take much to slightly bend that back and get it in shape. I would not mess with warming that up. It will get back in shape. That's fairly straight. Okay, so what we've got here is all the parts and pieces of an RC6015, the Back to the Future clock. Um, this is all one piece. It's been glued. The, the faceplate here has been glued to the back. You're not going to be able to get in there. It is difficult to clean these. It can be done. What I recommend is you get soap and water. This whole thing can go down in there. Soap and water, slosh it around. Um, I'll take sometimes a paper towel, something soft. Okay, these lenses will scratch easily. Again, with my soap and water, then I, I do not use something like this. What I found, what I actually use is uh, a plastic tie. Again, with soap and water, I'm not going to be rubbing this on here dry. And I can, I can gently push that in there and get to all places, taking my time. Again, and then rinse well with water. Then I use distilled water to get up in there. A lot of times these want to catch fuzz bunnies up in here, or dust bunnies, whatever you call those. This soap and water treatment, followed by the rinse and followed by the distilled water, is going to get those out of there. But you're not going to be able to take this apart. It's glued. All right, so there it is. The RC6015, fully disassembled. Thank you, and visit us at flipclockfans.com.